Hey guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. As you can see, somebody made an intro for me. For those who's wondering where did I get it, I get it from Panzoid, the original creator of my intro. Is MR, MR? No, Mir XFX. Sorry about that. Mir XFX, shout out to you. And today we're gonna be reacting to SCP 2845, the guy that crash lands from Earth. To be short, the deer. Like the video and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the notification so you won't miss any of my future videos. The link of the original video is in the description, by the way, if you wanna check it out. Let's go. On November 27th, 2011, a comet was spotted traveling towards Earth. This comet's existence was confirmed by Mount John University Observatory on December 1st of that year. And the next day, the Minor Planet Center gave it a name, Comet C-2011-W3. Scientists continued to observe this comet's trajectory, which appeared to be nothing out of the ordinary. That is, until C-2011-W3 reached perihelion. C-2011-W3, like many objects entering the solar system, had been pulled into orbit around the sun. And perihelion is a scientific term which refers to the point at which an object in orbit is the closest is it to the really star a it's orbiting. Term? On December 13th, as C 2011 W3 approached perihelion, Solar Dynamics Observatory observed a fragment splitting off from the main body of the comet, a fragment that then began hurtling towards Earth. Ooh. Despite the SCP Foundation's implementation of deterrence That's procedures, bad. the comet stayed its course. And soon it became clear that areas near the predicted crash site would have to be evacuated. On December 21st, the comet reached the Earth, crashing into the Pacific Ocean 124 kilometers off the coast of the United States. This in Why itself is it was an unusual. America, On average, our planet is hit by Bro. 17 pieces of space debris a day, and much of it does land in the ocean. What was unusual, however, was that three days later, the creature that had been riding the piece of space debris reached <laughs> land and revealed it. itself to the world. Starting on December 24, 2011, footage inside. started cropping up all I over the internet of an otherworldly creature. It appeared to be an enormous deer with mint green fur, a long neck, human face, and marbled black antlers ringed by floating ice crystals and metallic spheres. RC, the SCP bro. Foundation quickly mobilized in order to contain the beast, but it was immediately evident that it was impervious to attacks. What was worse, it had a devastating way of retaliating against aggressors. Fitting oh. its cosmic origins... The okay, I've read the comments before that that god was like... Kronos. From Greek mythology, I don't know if just a theory or something, but he looks like a Arceus to me, bro. <laughs> the deer possesses the godlike ability to instantly transmute matter through powerful energy beams. It can turn solids into liquids, gases into solids, and organic matter into metal instantaneously. The materials Imagine that result from that these transmutations ability. remain stable despite outside factors that logically should destabilize them. For example, the Ooh, deer can okay. create shapes made of solid frozen hydrogen that remain solid even outside of the sub-zero temperatures that it normally requires to keep gases in their solid okay. states. This transmutation ability is used I'm consciously okay, as a form of attack, the and the beams term. occur in a variety Those of shapes things, around the creature. The most common are a vertical column <laughs> measuring 5 to 7 meters in diameter and 60 to 80 meters in height or a horizontal That's, cone measuring between 100 and 150 so meters in length and 10 to 30 meters in width at the furthest end. Although the deer rarely attacks without provocation, it will transmute matter indiscriminately, making no effort to exclude non-combatants from the range of the attack. Everything within the range of attack is transmuted. People hit with the beam will be transformed into hexagonal columns roughly 2.4 meters in height known as SCP-2845-1. These columns have rubbery green skin and no organs outside of a brain, which makes up the entirety of the columns inside. Miraculously, Wait, they remain alive. alive 
as the brains of instances of SCP-2845-1 have been studied and are shown to be in a constant state of high activity. Analysis of brainwave patterns suggest a pattern of call and response, which implies a telepathic link between the different instances of SCP-2845-1. Given the devastating effects of SCP-2845's attacks, the SCP Foundation naturally had an extremely difficult time containing it, and they had to take drastic measures to do so. The Foundation enlisted the help of the Global Occult Coalition, as well as outside consultants who were brought in to try and draft a plan for containment of the beast. The ideal place for its containment was containment determined though, to be like, somewhere on the other side of the Sierra Nevada everything. mountains, and through a campaign of artillery bombardment that lasted from December 26, 2011 to January 15, 2012, the SCP and GOC were able to drive SCP-2845 across the mountains to the location that would become known as Site 100. What sets Site 100 apart from other SCP containment okay. sites is the complex system put in place in order to properly keep SCP-2845 in containment. The site consists of nine concentric circular bands, designated Ring A through Ring I, with a gap located between Ring C and Ring D. Six circular chambers are located at Bro, 0, 60, 120, 180, one. 240, and 300 degrees within each ring and gap. The chambers located at zero degrees are aligned with geographic north. Ask. Two additional circular chambers are located outside of Ring for? I, located at 120 ask. and 240 degrees. The floor of each circular chamber is decorated with a hexagram, or six-pointed star made of lead. The central chamber, containing SCP-2845 and 216 instances of SCP-2845-1, is to contain an atmosphere of 96.3% hydrogen, 3.25% helium, and 0.45% ammonia maintained at negative 110 degrees centigrade. Site 100 must be staffed at all times by a minimum of... That is so descriptive. What, what its effect though? Somebody know what's what's gonna be effect on a human body or something organic or s bro I also can't focus too much to that SCP because he always comes to my mind are serious are serious are serious. <laughs> bro it's like they copy the Pokemon of 30 trained individuals or to be given unlimited access to untrained human subjects. The staff and subjects must perform a complex series oh, of so rituals at different points of the circle, right. acting on a cycle of 63 hours and 54 minutes. Each ritual lasts 39 minutes and they must be performed every 10 hours. At the beginning of each new cycle, the scheduled rituals will be carried yeah, that... out in the next ring closest to the containment chamber going from Ring I inwards until work, they reach though. Ring A. Each ritual requires six participants. Procedure 410 Constantine well, is performed at the 60-degree point on the circle. Well, Containment specialists are presented with masks. Thing. Joy, sadness, anger, apathy, fear, and foolishness, and must act out a farcical comedic okay. play before playing a dice game with one another. Procedure 420 per Arnaldo is performed at the circle's 120-degree point. This ritual involves a performance by a band consisting of a flute, oboe, clarinet, French horn, timpani, and bass drum. It must be a live performance. Recordings have no effect. Procedure 430 Epimetheus, performed at the 180 degree Pause. point, involves. Does it explain how do they keep tabs on the order of every ritual? Like, or is just like, oh, we're gonna do this ritual today and then tomorrow? We're gonna do another ritual, or is this random ritual created to contain that thing? Let me know. Involves exchanging small gifts with values not exceeding four dollars and twenty-eight cents USD. Each gift exchange is followed by the uh, recitation of ceremony Epimetheus bro. A, and followed by scattering inflation. grain over the chamber floor. Not Procedure four forty Cassiel, performed at two forty degrees, involves the recitation of ceremony Cassiel A while participants bind their feet with wool and drink 500 milliliters of olive oil. They will then break apart a rock weighing at least 200 kilograms with hammers. Ceremony Cassiel B is recited throughout. While the previous procedures might sound weird, it's after that point that the containment rituals start to take a turn for the gruesome. 
Procedure okay. 450 Cairo is okay. performed at the 300 degree you point. Don't say. In this ritual, a D class personnel has a symbol drawn on their stomach with a platinum base paint, a ring surrounding a dot, with an arrow pointed upwards at the 90 degree point. The D class is then presented with a blue cloak, crown, and scepter before being restrained in a chair and castrated with a hand sickle as ceremony what? Cairo A is recited. Finally, <laughs> 460 Omphalos is performed at the zero degree point, the very no. top of the circle. No. This ritual, the most gruesome of all, involves cooking and eating a three-month-old infant. In case of containment breach, Both. Site 100 Both. is equipped with a new... That is fucked up. Wow. You, you gotta kill those, you gotta kill that god, bro. It, it ain't god, bro. You gotta kill that thing. Real. That is fucked up. Disgusting, bro. Fuck. Nuclear warhead, just like all SCP containment sites, which will be detonated if containment ever fails. Because of the complexity of the procedures required to contain SCP-2845, some animosity started to develop between the Foundation course, personnel bro. stationed at Site-100 and the outside contractors who had conceived the containment rituals. They had to go through these time-consuming, elaborate, sometimes yeah. horrific procedures over and over again, going around and around the somebody. circular maze that made up the site every 10 hours. And there was no way of being able to tell if the things they were doing had any effect on the creature in containment at all. On the 31st of January, 2012, Site Director Dell finally approached one of the containment consultants and asked him why, exactly, they had to uphold all this pageantry. Surely there had to be some other, more streamlined way of keeping the creature in containment. The consultant denied this and explained their reasoning. I find it sickening that after all the struggle to contain this creature, Pencil-pushing bureaucrats are still seeking to cut corners where they cannot be afforded <laughs> to be pushing bureaucrats. The ritual will remain as it is and will not be changed in any way. Rituals do not work because of some underlying laws such as those that science operates on. Rituals okay. work because they are rituals. They work because an arbitrary set of criteria has been met with exacting mm. care. Belief that mm. meeting these arbitrary criteria achieves a certain end assigns power to the ritual. The actions that were okay. once meaningless now have been assigned meaning through their repetition and application. This is how one seals away a god. And this is a god. I know that the Foundation does not approve of using the term, but it is still the so case. So they are fooling it. The stag is a god, and it is not like a that. petty local god. It is not one of the mild gods of Earth or some weaker spirit that is bound by the strength of man's belief. We have for the time being fooled it into thinking that we have overpowered it. It does not understand that we do yeah. so falsely. Makes it sense, well. is a god. For God's words have power. Ritual and belief hold greater power over a god than all the laws of science. So why mm. are the containment procedures for SCP-2845 so dramatic mm. and complex? The answer is simple, because the team believes the rituals work. As a cosmic deity, SCP-2845 doesn't follow any scientific laws as we understand them on Earth. But what it does understand is the power of rituals and belief. The only okay, reason it hasn't escaped is that it responds to the beliefs of the Foundation personnel, and yeah. in turn it believes that it's being held in containment. The consultant goes on, it will not think to escape or even to change its strategy. The idea will not even pass through its mind. It cannot comprehend the concept. It does not think in the way we think. Truth be told, I would not say it thinks at all. This is an old god. It does not dabble in decisions. Decisions are for creatures who may act erratically, variably, or out of line. A god of this strength simply is. It is an absolute. It acts as a force. In building this ritual, we have shifted its Yo. being the slightest bit. And now it is locked into a pattern of behavior. It struggles against us. And we struggle against it. And we are locked together in eternal dance so long as the ritual remains intact. One last question remains, though, when it comes to that SCP-2845. The rituals it that are performed like to keep it in place are far from like random. It. They seem so it specific that it feels it. impossible that the outside consultants could have come up with them out of the blue. What was their inspiration? Well, in his statement to Site Director Dell, he mentions, 
listening to the songs of the converted. Remember how the instances of SCP-2845-1 oh. were shown to not only be alive, yeah. but communicating with each other telepathically? They were able to communicate with the contractors as well, giving them the tools they needed to create the See? prison that would hold like their server. god. If you're wondering how the converted feel about having been transformed into a mobile green monoliths, the consultant had an answer for that question too. They are not suffering, but they are no longer human. They are changed utterly. And so the rituals continue in order to keep SCP-2845 contained. Perhaps one day a new technology will be found, or simpler procedures will be given. But until that day, we're all lucky that there are others who will subject themselves to horror day after day. Hour after hour. Hey, for I, I our you're not dead, though. Now go check out SCP 4205 in dead. the eyes of the beholder and SCP 20. Anyway, guys, that's SCP 2845. Dear God. <laughs> anyway, that's all bad, bro. Anyway, guys, I know I post a lot. Bear with me. I just got a theory though. I don't know the specific designation number of that SCP. But you know that guy, the old man, those, those container. You know that guy that said he created everything. What if he just? Is there an SCP story where he battles or he fights other SCPs? You know, like how he fights this SCP. The dear guns. Anyway, guys, that's. SCP-284 is quite interesting story. If you're interested in more SCP videos, head down to my play playlist. Playlist, bro. I've been stuttering a lot. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, hit the notifications. I'll see you soon.